Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. <laughs> there should be sound right now. Okay. <laughs> Can you all hear me now? <laughs> oh, yes. I think you... Oh, my gosh. Let me check. It should be okay now. Let me check, let me check. Yes. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, I think so. It should be okay now. Oh my gosh, where are you? <laughs> well, it should be okay now. Yes. Okay, I was just telling you uh, that I'm a mess, as you can see. Um, <laughs> sorry, else. Um, well, guys, we just get back, got back, sorry, from a great retreat in Bend, Canada. So we got back, um, well, in Dutch time this morning. So I'm having a terrible jet lag, not enough sleep, look like a mess, no makeup, but I'm trying to go and have some fun with you guys. So, <laughs> well, that's what the mess is all about. No sound, forgetting to put on your microphone. And my iPad is not working, so uh, I'm going to read the comments on my phone, which I just put next to me. So hopefully um, I can read it. <laughs> um, yes, now the jet lag. Yeah, there is a jet lag. <laughs> well, I had a couple of hours sleep when we got home, two or three hours, and that's it. So I think we will go to bed early tonight. And... Um, yeah, I was trying to do a, a meme <laughs> um, live, honey. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. What are we going to do today? Oh, by the way, this is the beautiful leather planner we got at the retreat in Banff. It was so much fun, guys. Really, really, really. Uh, so hopefully we will be doing another retreat again uh, over there next year. I heard Els talking about it already, so, um, well, let's see if it's going to be there again. So, uh, my plan is to show you something of the new release, of course, which I introduced to you with Els last Monday evening, Monday afternoon. Uh, and I picked one of those die sets with the wallet. So, I'm going to uh, make one for you, so you can see uh, how I make them. Um, Oh no. Yes, else, yes, else. I'm, I, I don't understand why I said yes to this, but <laughs> no, 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 no. It doesn't matter. Okay, the wallet die set. Where is it? So if it's going to be a bit messy, m maybe more messy than usual, um, just blame it on the traveling. So that's this set where I'm going to work with today. It is called Wallet with Keys number 2076. No, 67. Sorry. Um, you can make a, a great wallet out of this. So I'm going to show you all the elements and how to use them. And let me see. Yeah, a retreat in Florida. That would be fun too. <laughs> Hi, Claire. Hi, Mary. <laughs> hey, Josette. Good to see you too. Hi, Joy. <laughs> Lovely you are all here, guys. Um, okay, the wallet. I've made some samples in advance and I'm going to assemble one with you so i'm going to show you a little bit um, different ways to use them you can use them as a wallet let me see if i've got one which hasn't got holes in it no of course there's not okay i'm going to show you this one first this is this part of the die the large one and then i use this piece the window and cut it at the same time so it will give you a wallet with a window uh, that's not that really hard. Then there's also this element. If you are combining the, the solid piece with this element, you can create pockets in the same wallet, as you can see over here. So this, this die is giving you three slots where you can tuck anything nice in there. Uh, this is another one I did, same one, with the three slots to tuck your favorite things in. There also are some um, keys, some small keys, which you can 
attached to them. And um, over here I did the same as I'm going to show you today. A wallet, but with a window. So I'm going to put acetate behind it and then uh, I will add it to one of the pages. As you can see here, I uh, left it open on one side so you can tuck something underneath there too. And this is just a piece of acetate with some decorative um, small airplanes uh, in it. Okay, so I'm going to put these aside. Hello, Colorado. <laughs> Great. Oh, you received your order. <laughs> That's great. Hi, Karen. Hi, Jackie. Good to see you all. Okay, so I did die cut some elements in advance, so I wouldn't have to do that. And I am uh, working already in my day-by-day -day journal. Now, I have to explain something. This is something different than the online uh, workshop with Annette. Annette is going to work with you guys uh, in the sidekick journal. But because I'm already um, have been making my December day by days in the full size planner for a couple of years, I also want my December day today this year to be in a full size planner. So this is something completely different than the workshop with Annette. I did use um, the same paper pack, also some other uh, papers, uh, and I'm also using some of the elements from. Um, the December day by day kit. So that's that's this set. So please don't start cutting anything or do anything uh, what I'm showing you today because this is not part of the Annette workshop. So uh, just to make that clear. Now I'm setting up my December day by day in the full size planner and I will quickly show you what I have been doing so far and then I will start to assemble um, the wallet. So what I did um, I combined some newer and older um, pages, uh, die sets, um, yeah, and I'm just going to quickly show you what I've been doing so far. Uh, the poster stamp, my new favorite, <laughs> uh, decorated all the small post-it stamps. Uh, I have been doing a video with this one too, and I will upload it on my YouTube later this week, so you can see how I did things like this like this sorry and i will quickly browse through it to show you uh, what it looks like and what i have been doing so far so here is the new post box mailbox um and what i have also been doing with this stamp set and that's what you can see in the video as i'm thinking now is i met um i let me see how i'm going to explain this oh boy um I've been tearing all those postage stamps from the full page and I made all small pieces. I, I showed a, a couple of them uh, last Monday when we were doing the live. So um, what I also have been doing is the numbers from the paper pad from um, Field Notes uh, paper pad. There are those little numbers. I've been cutting them um, out. You can use... Um, a punch to do so or there's also a little round um, circle uh, in the die set so you can cut out all those little numbers but again this is what I did for my journal over here this is not what Annette is going to show you um, but it's just to give you an other idea and unless you have um, two paper pads and you want to make two December day by days then you can do this of course okay so I already prepared quite some pages and I added uh, numbers on almost each page and you, as you can see they are still um, only here with paper clips because I'm not sure of course yet uh, which um, photos or what kind of elements are going to be on those days this is um, the file folder I made there's a video with this one already on my YouTube just in case you haven't seen that so you can check that one out I will show it again what it looks like uh, also with one of the new die sets and then you can make a file folder or um, a folder to tuck things in your journal uh, this is for the full size again sorry um, so this is my page four five six this is going to be seven day seven in December eight nine and you can see these are just plain pages. I haven't done that much yet. 
but it's just a setup. So this will be my week, uh, day 10, 11, going to be working in the pocket pages. 12, 13 is also one of the new die sets over here. Day 14, 15, another postage stamp uh, page. Um, this is going to be day 16 with the, the page from um, the weekend fun set. No, it's not weekend fun, but sorry, I can't remember the correct frame name right now. This has, by the way, this is not paper. This, uh, I, sorry, <laughs> I stamped everything just as Marie Claire does, making your own backgrounds paper, backgrounds paper. Day 17, 18, 19. Oh, here's another uh, fa folder, wallet I did with acetate. So this is what I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, day 1920, and I haven't really finished it completely. So here's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 with the new Christmas tree. And now I am starting to my day 27. Okay, let me see the comments because I have to look to the side now because my iPad is not working. Oh, thank you very much, everyone. A little bit craft. Hi, Jean. <laughs> Hi Leslie. Oh Noda, good to see you too. Hi Wanda. Lovely, lovely to see you all. <laughs> so good that you're here. Okay, I'm going to take this one off out of my journal. And as I noticed uh, earlier, this is going to be my week, uh, my week, sorry, my day 26. And it has the number 25 over here. So for people who already noticed that, I know, and I am going to change that. So this is going to be day 27 uh, in my December journal. And that's where I want um, the new file folder to be. Uh, the new wallet, sorry. So uh, what I did, I did cut. So the larger frame, this one, the solid part, and then I took this frame and I did die cut it at the same time. So you just... Uh, center it on your um, plate of your die cutting machine machine sorry and then run them through at the same time so then this will give you a window like this and i would like to start with putting some acetate behind it so i need to get some tape and why don't i see that oh yes i do see <laughs> there's a little bit of delay and I'm taking some acetate. Well, I found a very old pack of acetate at the thrift shop, thrift shop the other day. So that's what I am using. But there are all kinds of acetate uh, available. So I am sure you will be able to find some. And I need my scissors. Uh, let me see. Well, I'm just eyeballing to see what kind of size it should be. Oh, that's not going the way I would like it to be. But, okay. Just trying to figure this out <laughs> with one hand <laughs> and cutting with the other hand. Oh, thank you, Tina. I hope it will arrive soon. So you can start playing with it. So it should be somewhere around here. Putting that to the side. And I think I am good with it. Oh, it's actually, I think it's a little bit too big. So I'm trimming off a little bit extra on the side. And maybe I should remove something from the corners now. Maybe here, round it a little bit. And I am going to glue it on the inside, so it doesn't need to be that perfect. But I think I'm good with this one. Uh, yes, Marjolaine, the, 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 the band planner, it's uh, real leather, the Italian leather. Just the same leather as the other uh, two which are available for sale. So that's the same leather, the same quality um, as the brown and the blue one. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Okay, um, some tape to start with. So my wallet will have a window. 
and this would be also a really fun um, die to make shakers, shaker cards uh, when you are using the window. And this die, uh, as I use it now, you can also use as a regular card for card makers. And you can uh, attach it to your journal. And that's what I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, Sean, I take this off already? Yes, I am going to remove the tape. Hey, Tony, are you also here? Good to see you, girl. <laughs> How are you? Next time, Tony, maybe else, are you here? Tony should come to Benf too, or to the retreat too, if we are doing another one. Just, just a little hint, wink, 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 and let me see, here we go, putting on the acetate, so that's here, let's save for now, oh, I think, hmm, I was thinking of using it the other way, but I glued already, oh, this might be fun, too. no, I'm going to use it this way, okay, let me see, would that work? Oh yes, it's nice. This afternoon I was thinking I'm going to do it this way, but now I already attached <laughs> and the acetate on the other side, so it's going to be this way. Okay. Uh, yeah, wink, wink. <laughs> I hope, Tony, I hope Elsie's our winks too. Okay, then in the same die set is also this part. Now, this part is going to... Uh, make you now let me think <laughs> my brains don't really work uh, really well uh well what's new by the way uh with this part the, with this piece you can add the wallet to your journal if you want to you don't need to but you can okay so that's what i cut out here and you on, the only thing you need to do now is to make an incision over here um i didn't apply that on the die itself because it's um losing um, space in the die set and i was thinking well all of us can make an incision over here with a knife and a, um, a ruler so that's not that hard and um, so it would it gave me some extra uh, room to put in extra elements for you in the die set and if you don't want to use it as an insert in your journal and then you would all, always have this incision over here. So now you can also use it as a card or without um, the attachment for the planner. Okay, I hope that makes sense, guys. So let me check. Craft knife, a ruler, and you, th you need about nine centimeters. Centimeters? Yes, centimeters. <laughs> um, just about uh, in the midst of this piece. So on the folding line, the crease line, um, you make an incision of nine centimeters and try to line it out a little bit. Let me check. Yeah, brain fog and jet lag. Great combination. <laughs> who, who says that? <laughs> oh. Morning. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we will be fine, girls and boys. I'm not sure if there are boys watching tonight, but. We all will be fine. Let me see, nine centimeters. So that's from here up to here. Just eyeballing a bit. I think we'll be good this way. So I'm making a small incision here. And I prefer to start a little bit smaller and I can always make it bigger if needed. Okay, so you see, there's this incision. And the only thing you have to do now is fold this one and then you can slide it through here and you can add it to your journal. Almost, 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 almost. Is it big enough? Oh, but that was my alarm. <laughs> alarm, sorry. <laughs> if you heard it. Okay, and as you can see now, it's here. You run it through um, the, the, the crease or the fold of your uh, wallet and then you can tuck it into your journal. I'm not going to do it yet, but I'm just going to show it how it works. And you can put it in. 
something like this. So that's what's what it's going to be. And uh, now, of course, this element you can also use on any other die or any piece of paper you already have. Uh, and if you want to add it to your journal, just make an incision, uh, slide it through, and then you are ready to go. Now, I need some ink here. That's what I've already noticed. So let me ink this up. Um, what you also can do, for this one, I'm going to close it down. Excuse me, um, but for example, if you want to keep it an open uh, wallet in your journal, so it has to stay open all the time, then there's also a crease line in this part. So then you can fold it both ways, as you can see, and then you have two sides which you can uh, glue down to make it, um, yeah, to ha have it attached to the wallet itself. So you Add a little bit of glue down here, a little bit of glue down there, and then you can open it without um, the piece falling off or falling out of your journal. No, it doesn't fall out that easy, but just in case, uh, it gives you the option to flatten this and then put glue behind. I don't think I need to do it now for this one, but I just want to, to mention it to you. Okay, it's going to be this side, by the way. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And then I am going to apply it here. Now, from one of the other sets, there is this strip. Uh, and I think it comes with the half top page, if I'm correct. I'm quite new to all the sets, so let me think in which set is is. Oh, no, it's with the, the Christmas tree. It's within this set. You see, an extra strip, which you can use as a decorative element too. And I was thinking of gluing that down there. So um, there's a little bit red popping up. Uh, in between those green elements. So I'm going to make this a little bit brownish. And I can't find my fried, fried burlap, so I'm taking gathered, gathered Twix now, but it's also a nice brown color. And uh, in the meantime, I have no idea where you are all talking about. So I'm trying to keep one eye of the comments now which is not that easy, so let me see. Wings, wings. I see more wings for Marie Claire. Well, that is going to be a very busy retreat. Else, wink, wink, lots of wings. <laughs> How's your English, Marie Claire? Start studying. Yes, you can, yes, you can. Let me see what you are all talking about. <laughs> well, if it's still in bench, then I have just have to buy another one. <laughs> no, I think it should be here somewhere. I will find it. Okay, I think I'm going to glue this one down first. So I can't mix those things up. And it's just... Um, yeah, to give it an extra pop of color on the side of this page. Okay, move it around a little bit so it's nice and centered. Okay, that's step one or two. Okay, now this one I am thinking of, um, I can do two things. I can glue it down just the way it is and put something nice behind this or I can also make a pocket out of it. So, um, because I don't know what will be happening on, what was it, day 27 in December, I think I will leave it open, not going to glue it down completely. So I can make those changes if I want to, and then I will decide what to do with it uh, on December 27th. I think that is the safest way to do this. So I think I will go for some tape again. Let me think, let me think, yes. Only at the top, oh, I can also do the pocket on the top, of course. I should be able to make a toppet like this or from the side. 
I can also do another pocket with this or put something under there already. Um, I think I will go for the pocket on the side because I have a, this tap part over here. There's a tap over there and I would like to have another piece popping out over there too on the side. Maybe a tag or something. So I need to glue down this part and this part on the back side. So I am going back to my tape. Actually, I think I also could have been taking the wider tape, but as I'm having the smaller tape in my hands now, I am going for two pieces of small tape. Uh, so it, I make sure it stays there. Hi Linda, good to see you too. <laughs> Hi Leanne, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. If you want to see more of our um, Facebook lives, you can also find them on um, the Facebook page, of course. And they are also easy to find. Um, let me check this. Did I do this correctly? Yes, I can do this. <laughs> uh, on our YouTube channel. So there's the Elizabeth Crafty Designs YouTube channel uh, or on my own YouTube channel. There are also some. Um, Replay so you can uh, video so you can watch the replays. Okay, here we go. So this one is stuck on the bottom and on the bot bo bottom and on the top. Sorry, and it's open here so I can make uh, use it as a pocket. Now I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. What else do I have? This is a leftover piece, but I think when I'm putting it in like this, it's a little bit. Um, Mm -hmm. bit boring. Oh, I can use this one just to put it in for now. So I am going to cut off the edges. This is uh, one of the new, um, this is a stamp from one of the new stamp sets. Stamp sets. I'm not sure if I've got it here. Yes, yes, yes. Where is it? Here. This is a stamp which you see over here. I just stamped it on a piece of um, regular cardstock and then you can cut it out. And this stamp set is called, um, what was it? Hubble Pup from the past, Correspondence from the past, I think. Did I put the number on it? Yeah, Correspondence from the past number two, CS25, just for your information. <laughs> and it's a really fun set to use. Okay, so for now, I'm not going to write anything on it yet because it's not December yet, but I'm going to put it in here. And I think I'm also going to add another tab. So, you know, you can see it pops out a little bit, but if you are looking back in your journal a couple of months or years later, you will never see this again. But when I'm attaching a tab, an extra tab, I think, you will notice it more. Not sure if I've got a tab over here. No, but I always have those boxes with lots of tabs and thingies laying around. So there should be one which I'm able to use. Well, here we go. This is a nice one. Oh, thank you, Ingrid. That's so nice of you. Thank you, Linda, too. Now I'm thinking, shall I put it here? Oh yes, this will be fine. Okay, I'm going to glue this down because I know I want to use this. And um, lucky me, uh, I already added double-sided adhesive on the back before die cutting. So it's very easy to glue it down on the card now. Hi Cindy, nice to see you too. And um, well, actually, I can glue this down in the middle, just eyeballing. <laughs> and then the other side on the back. Now, I might just as well ink up these board, uh, these edges too. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> Okay, so putting it 
in the back side so you know later on you will see that there's something going on here and so you can take it out which also might be nice maybe not sure if i'm going to do that now to add a little key here or two maybe okay so that's for now now i'm thinking i think it's a little bit uh boring oh i think i moved something oh no this is not stuck yet you see what's happening this that's because i did not uh, glue the the hinge part to the to the folder itself to the wallet so that's what i definitely need to do now because otherwise it doesn't look good okay some of the glue i think i'm going to use this one and you know what else or david showed me the glue thingy <laughs> And I don't have it. So I'm going to do it by hand. Gluing this down. I will start with this one first. Make sure it's nice. Nicely placed on those holes. And then it won't go anywhere anymore. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit glue underneath this one and we are good to go so now this one can't move anymore so i'm done now i mean uh, this isn't going to be a live from uh, a full hour live but um, I will see how much I can do and keep you guys uh, company for to now this won't work you see because day 27 it goes underneath I don't like this either so maybe shall I put it behind this window somewhere that might be fun too hmm. but now I'm thinking I am not going to glue this down because again I'm not sure what is going to happen on December 27 and not sure if I would like it to be in here or maybe I change my mind later on I will add it on the top or maybe oh this might be fun this might be fun putting it here but just in case there will be a picture in here and somebody's face is here then I'm not able to glue it down so to be on the safe side I am going to take uh, a paper clip and just leave it there for now let me see if I can find one of those paper clips oh <laughs> that's something else yeah got one but I like the idea most of putting it here so I'm going to use a paper clip for now so I remind um, yeah just as a reminder a reminder um, what I was thinking today and again you see this is actually quite far uh, hidden already under here so maybe I should um, let me think because it will disappear uh, um, while I even added it so maybe I should add another piece of cardstock underneath now this is the leftover part from this one let me see if I make this a little bit smaller. Oh, that's one. Yeah, this is going. Uh, oh, no, that's too much. Because, let me see what's happening. You know, it's going to be in your journal. So, let me check what, why it's, it's going to. Oh, I know. I feel it now. It's. Um, pushing against um, yeah this part you know the the red uh, extra decorative uh, border but if you are moving it a little bit it slides over and then it's in between those layers so I think I will add some extra paper on the back side um, just a little bit yeah and I'm going to trim off some of the edges because because um, these corners are square 
and this is now around it because I used this part. Uh, was it this part? And I would like them both to be or both to have square corners. So, I'm going to glue it down first. Let's see if something is in this glue bottle. Not sure. I only need a little bit. <laughs> Let me see. Um, yeah, I, I will keep the top part at the same level. So they are uh, lined out at the top part. And I'm going to make the sides a little bit wider and the bottom part so it doesn't uh, slide in that far anymore. Now I need a paper trimmer. Ah, where are those? Haven't used them yet today. So I found one. Let me see what you are talking about. Oh, the glue press. Yes, yes, yes. I don't have one yet. Let me check and see how this goes. I want it to be nice and straight. Just a little bit extra. I'm just trimming off the rounded corners. Now I'm also going to do it on that side. Let me see, and that's no good. Yeah, I think we're good with this one. It's a little bit crooked. Let me this is better. And now let me see how far it goes. Now this is too far, you see. So I'm going to trim off half. So it's quite visible yeah this is better you see so you will always see that there's something underneath here um, when you look back at it later on so what else can I do number 27 is here the wallet is here I also want to leave this one open now again because I don't know what I'm going to do uh, on the and not sure if I'm going want to do a picture in it or I want some journaling or I want uh, to make it a shaker. Let's say there's nothing going on on the day. Uh, I can make it into a shaker. Now I have those little stars laying around. And these are from the, the special with uh, Annette's workshop. The December day by day workshop. So I think these might be fun. And I cut them from the same paper as those um, with the Christmas, Christmas ornaments. The paper sheet. And you see, um, it pops up quite nicely if you use the same paper again to uh, as a repeat pattern set. Let me think. Make a booklet, Belinda. I think you can, uh, Belinda. Uh, then I would suggest not using this part. Just die cut all those... Um, um, Oh my God, what did I call them? I came up with a name myself. Oh yeah, the wallets, yes. Uh, just die cut a, a, a couple of wallets. Let's say you want to do 10 or 12. And then I would do uh, some hand stitching, you know, book binding. There are many book binding uh, techniques on YouTube. Uh, I'm not an expert book binder, but uh, <laughs> yeah, the wallets. <laughs> and you can make uh, maybe from David. The, David has those hinges. In this collection, maybe they would fit. Give it a try. Or just the old fashioned book binding. That would always work. And then it's maybe great uh, when you combine um, yeah, the wallet with, um, you know. Um, oh, my brains are really giving me a hard time, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, combine um, the solid wallet with uh, some windows maybe, and also with the pieces uh, to make pockets. That would be a, a really cool book. I like the idea, Belinda. Now looking for some tweezers. Yes, I find some. <laughs> ah, that's what I was just saying, uh, Els, from David's collection. The hinges. <laughs> oh, so I'm faster than you, <laughs> despite of a jet lag. So that's not bad at all, Els. 
I'm not doing that bad. If I was faster than you, that's almost impossible. Okay. Oh, I have to take more. So, here we go. You see how cute this looks with the little stars um, from the December Day by Day journal? So, I, I'm trying to finish this page as, m as much as possible. Uh, and then I only have to do the complete um, yeah, finishing when it's December. So, you know, December is a busy month for most of us. So, if you have been uh, preparing your December day-by-day -day journal before the month December starts, you will be good to go, as we say. And how many of you already started the homework? Because I know Annette already uh, put that in the Facebook group. And I think the workshop is already next week. 28th, is that correct, Els? Yes, I think so. <laughs> yes, Anya, I won from Els. <laughs> Maple whiskey, yes, we got it. And it made it home safely. That's good. <laughs> Nothing broke. Yes, um, Joop and Els uh, had us taste some really gorgeous maple whiskey. And I never drink whiskey, guys. I really don't like it. But this one was really good. Oh, there's a small element here. I think this should go somewhere there. I think this is a little bit boring, you know, all the green around. So I might, I might add a little thingy somewhere. And now, and that's what I usually don't do, glue everything exactly to the edges. And that's what I forgot about now with adding this um, wallet to the page. It might be easier <laughs> if you don't glue it down completely to the edges because you might always want to be able to slide something underneath later on. Let me get making my planner essential. Oh yeah, let me see. I'm done with homework. No, oh, Jill, don't feel very behind because it's all up to you and you, you're not it's not a competition, you know. You can make it any any day, any time you want to start. So don't worry about it. Uh homework done. Some other people have to start. Oh yeah, it's the twenty eighth. Homework done. <laughs> uh, you will be doing fine, guys. There are some sets available in the US. Line. Oh, you're also you going to use the full size Maya line? Cool. Oh, Heather, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it was lovely to meet you too. have to start yeah there will be some uh, kits uh, around in the stores so check your favorite store ask your local craft supply store uh, if they've got one for you mm, I need some scissors and don't talk too much let me see how far should I trim it off somewhere around here I hope that this is enough and also not too much Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, then we have another problem. Do you want to attach it here? Do you want to attach it to the corner? Do you want to attach it in the middle? So these are things. Um, yeah. We are having problems with. <laughs> no, but it's just fun to figure out where it looks the best. So I think I'm going for this one here. Uh, but still, I don't. I'm not happy with it. So it needs something more. Let me see what else I've got. I also want these holes. Should I put a circle on there? No, I'm not sure. Let me see how it looks like. If I'm going to add a circle here and one here, I think I will go for all stars. Let me see. There's one here. And then these is a little bit, these both have a little bit more of the print of the paper. These are just regular 
cardstock. Let me see, this is looking good. Some more ink. Trying to <laughs> get the backing paper off. One more star to go. And in the meantime, I'm thinking about the top part here because that's not something I really like already. Oh, 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 oh. This might be fun. Something like this. Not sure how, but I'm putting it there. Maybe I can do something with this one. <laughs> no, it's a little bit too large. Or maybe I can have it pop out. Wait, wait, wait. Then you hardly won't see anything of it, but it might be nice. We know because it's just also a little bit of red, which coming back on the other side of the page. Not bad, I think. Okay, let me attach the, the last star first. Oh, there's a little piece over there, which shouldn't be there. Okay, here we have the stars. And I think I must say I like this, although I think it's a waste of this part. Oh, <laughs> there's something falling, guys. Sorry. A blending brush. <laughs> uh, but I can also do this. Oh, no, no. I should do this. And then I will cut it in half. Look. Then I will do this. And then just pretend like it's a long stick and it pops out over there. What do you think of that? Oh, I'm not so tired at all. And let me see, it goes here, so I am going to glue this one down, and I think I will do that. Ho, 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 Fuzino. Oh, sorry. That was, were a few Dutch words. Okay, just some double-sided adhesive, so it stays here. This is fun, isn't it? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> okay, and some double-sided adhesive on the other side. Make sure it's a little bit in the same length. No, the height, sorry. Okay, I won't glue it down that good yet, because I want to see it from the other side first. Let me see what's happening. Yay! I think we make it. I hope you guys agree. I think you will. Actually, I think I think it should be a little bit more down, a little bit more to the bottom side of the paper. Now, I hope I can remove this one. <laughs> hey, David, did you fall asleep? <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> okay, let me see. It should be something like this. I have to put it a little bit closer to myself because otherwise I can't see if it's in a straight line. And it should go a little bit behind the card, a little bit further. Something like this. Let me see. Check it out. Maybe a little bit more. Hmm. Okay. So here's this little stick, and I think I've got some another one here. I think I'm also going to keep this one with this page, so I can use it later, you know? Maybe do something like the same, something familiar later on, on this side. Uh, I'm going to attach it to the paper clip too, so I won't lose it. This one, it's going to be my final uh, plan, <laughs> my final um idea here for today. I sh should have been doing some stamping here, but uh, I'm not going to do that now because it's not, um, how do you say it? Not even. So stamping will be um, a more difficult now. 
I'm going to remove the backing side of the tape. Um, let me see if this works. Adding some more glue. And this candy cane is also from the December Day by Day kit. And I um, used some, um, choop, 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 what's the name again? Embossing powder <laughs> to make it shiny. It's a little bit too far. Okay, I think this will be fine. This is not attached. I will add a little bit of a glue underneath. And is this okay now? Just a little bit of glue over there too, just to be on the safe side. Okay, and maybe later on I will, because I don't like uh, that it's not underneath the folder. But there's nothing I can change for that now, but maybe later on I can add something on top. Okay, so I think this is it for now. My day 27 for December. Um, it's a first setup, so it's not a finished page, page yet, but it's going to be in my journal, which I've already almost... I'm done with, with the preparations, 21, 23, 25, 26 and 27. So a few more to go and my setup for December is also ready. Well guys, that was it for today. Um, coming to you from Holland again, <laughs> after a long journey today, last night, uh, from Canada where we had so much fun. And I must say, I always also had fun showing this part of the new collection to you. Uh, are there any questions? Uh, let me see, what are you talking about? David also needs to start with a chop chop, David. Hurry up, <laughs> December is near. <laughs> Okay, guys, yes, thank you very much. I'm not going to bet directly. Uh, and else suggested to have a glass of maple whiskey. And I think that's what we are going to do. Okay, hey, thank you guys for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. And I am looking forward to see what you are going to create with uh, the new die sets. Okay, thanks so much again. And I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.